हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पीली देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू इन्फॉर्मेशन दिज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन देर आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो I have to tell you something. Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, Dinar opinions, and Dinar guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. Back in 2011, I was told by my attorneys that the revaluation would follow the guide rail set out. by Dr. Shubibi. Dr. Shinan Al Shubibi has quite the curricula vitae in that he held a bayist say in economics from Baghdad University, 1966, a diploma in advanced studies in economic development, and MA in economics from the University of Manchester, 1970, 1971, and a PhD in economics from the University of Bristol. 1975 He was said to be an authority on the Marshall Plan which in essence is what is happening in Iraq at this very moment I was also told that the plan was to resurrect the pre-invasion dinar valued at $3.22 or thereabouts I was also told that Iraq would have no need of using the IMF model of baskets of currencies of which an average is calculated as that would drag down the IQD and raise up inferior currencies in other words a fixed rate at least during the reconstruction slash infrastructure phase this was 13 years ago and time necessitates changes sometimes it seems nothing is etched in stone these days but of the many things i was told in the presence of a usd agent and a couple other attorneys everything they said at that meeting has come true So I'm going to stick with what has been dependable info. I am, however, a little surprised at the flood of info coming forth. I would have thought they would hold their cards a little closer to the vest. With that being said, never rule out the old trick of misdirection. Iraq has a meeting with the WTO according to the calendar on or around the 18th of this month. What is it about? It's talking about their accession process. whether that's going to happen or not that day i don't know but assuming that it's moving forward it sounds like their accession is going to be imminent the wto you don't have to have value to your currency but it can't have any stains on your currency what do you mean by that the iraq dinar had sanctions on it remember the united nations security council they put handcuffs on the dinar They cannot be used internationally. It was on the Afax list. You couldn't touch it. It was taboo. It cannot have any sanctions, restrictions. It must be fully capable of moving in the international markets. There are supposedly movement of Kurdish leaders in Iraq visiting Baghdad. And the rumor is the HCL will be nailed down tight, done, 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 and the announcement could be today. Question: Iraq is supposed to join the WTO this 18th of July. Is that correct? The 18th is the next meeting of the steering committee. The full assembly would have to vote to allow Iraq full accession. They are not scheduled to meet until early 2026. It would be extremely uncommon for a steering committee to only meet with a country two times after the initial meeting. 4 to 7 is the usual. This only the second meeting of the steering committee for Iraq.